welcome to my channel. My name is Lore. So I am just having an absolutely terrible day and I thought to get my mind off of things, just distract myself a bit, maybe I should start rearranging my bookcase, my bookshelves. This could go one of two ways, okay? It could be very great, relaxing time that helps me get my mind off of things, or it could be probably a terrible decision, overwhelm me, and just make me in an even worse mood that I'm already in. I'm hoping it's the former and not the latter. And I do have some ideas that I kind of want to play with because I feel like my shelves are just messy and not in like a good messy way. My first idea is getting all the manga together because it's just kind of thrown all over. Then the second idea is I want to put all of my TBR books in one spot. I don't want to have any of them spread out. And then two, I kind of want to play with a rainbow situation, mm, but I don't know about that. Nah, that might be pushing it. I don't know. It could be fun to just do something different. I've never done rainbow shelves. Let's just go for it. Let's try it, see if it works out. If it doesn't, oh well, this is probably going to take me more than today anyway, because I get decision fatigue. Let me just show y'all what I'm currently working with in regards to how the bookcase slash bookshelves are looking right now. So as y'all can clearly see, it is just messy. There's stuff thrown everywhere. It doesn't look good. We have our work cut out for us. Lighting's terrible. Hold on. Let's start with pulling off all of the TBR books because I feel like that would just be easier to already have them in their own little area. gave up for today turns out this was not improving my mood with peace and with love i thought i had grabbed all of my tbr books 
but nope, I forgot the biggest one of them all. It was just sitting right up here. I didn't even notice it. This is not gonna fit over there. So I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Let's hope for a better day tomorrow. All right, y'all, I can't remember the last time I attempted to organize these for this video. It must have been like June and it's September now. Long story short, I am going to take all my manga off except for Inuyasha. I'll probably leave that over here and then I'm going to get a new smaller bookcase to put next to my desk and I'm going to put all the manga on that so that they don't yellow with the way the sun is hitting. Also, speaking of sun, look at my baby boy in his sunspot. He loves it. This is the stack of manga I am unhauling. I just, as of today, have no interest in reading them, but I have someone in my life who might want to read them, so I'm gonna give them to her, see if she wants them, whatever she doesn't want. They'll find a place. They'll find a place. I keep Arisa volumes 1 through 12 so it's complete back here to hold up my avatar collection because I just like displaying the pictures on it so have to have something to hold it up. End result looks like this and there's a reason on the back. All right y'all so I basically took all of the manga off except for Inuyasha that's gonna stay over here and we're gonna call this a work in progress because next up is gonna be rearranging all of the books into their genres. Still haven't decided if I want to play around with a rainbow theme yet so we're just gonna say genres for now and yeah all right here's a pile of manga that i'm gonna have to organize yes you can help <laughs> and then here is another pile of my manga decided to actually keep yurisei yatsura because edgar wanted me to keep it so not getting rid of that one
y'all so we're back at the main bookcase and it's a bit different from the last time i checked in yeah it's been a few days maybe a week or two actually i don't know i don't remember but all i've changed is i took the nonfiction from there and i put it at the top which that needs to be rearranged still and then i put my records over there so unlike the manga bookcase which is just based off of size and pretty much wherever i could fit everything this is going to go off of a genre so Yes. Honestly, I really like how it turned out. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But the best and most important thing is there is a ton of room to grow. Again, up top we have my nonfiction books and of course just random junk down there. So these are semi-organized by genre, I guess you could say, because we have my historical nonfiction books up until we get about here. Then we have my two science nonfictions, and then more like societal sociology type things, and then it bleeds into memoirs. This is completely filled up by Inuyasha. And I love that. Then I wanted to keep the theme of illustrations going. So I decided to put all of my art books and all of the picture books. And then it bleeds into graphic novels. And then this is just oddly shaped. So I kept it over here. And then from Garlic and the Vampire, we go on into the middle grade graphic novels, which then goes into middle grade. These are technically YA. So I guess you could say the YA starts here and on. But I kind of see these more as middle grade 
grade. Don't know why, couldn't tell you. YA slash middle grade, we have like contemporary YA that goes into historical fiction here. And then we have YA romancey fantasy here. So I was like, might as well just go into the romance books I own, which we have here. And in the back, I have a bunch. And these are my Tomb Raider comics. So if we continue with the romance theme from up there all the way down to here which also, hey, you can see me in the reflection. We have the start of my older YA, or you could say new adult romanticy is the new term I've heard going around. So I really do love these covers. I can't lie. I can't lie. And then I just have my original covers back there. Then if we continue to move on, we just go into the rest of my fantasy books. And the key here being that there is room to grow because I have the second one to this one to read and the second one of this one to read. And then I was gifted this cute little dragon and I thought, perfect, it'll go with fantasy. Then we just continue on and there's more fantasy. I have a Rhaenyra pop. I think this is beautiful. And I really did enjoy Fire and Blood, the book, and the first season of the show. Then we move into my very tiny science fiction section, which I forgot I even owned this book. But, yep, just my two sci-fis right here. Well, I do own some others, but whatever. And then this is like a fantasy, but it's more, but it's not really. I don't know how to explain it. It's like everything in one book. So I just put it there because it looked decent there. Then we move over here. It is mysteries, thrillers, horrors, and gothic vibes. And then behind this candle, I have all my vampire books. Maybe all of them, maybe not. I'm not sure. But that's this. It's like a, basically like a Halloween cube, you could say. Then if we go down from there, we have the rest of my fiction, adult fiction specifically, that I just didn't know what to do with. So I tried to do a cute little rainbow, but it didn't really work out, honestly. Uh, turns out I'm not really good with colors, <laughs> but I tried and that's all that matters. Then I have an empty cube and then I just moved Avatar down there because I just thought it would be nice to have something a little different down here. All right, y'all. So I have finally finished rearranging all of my books. Clearly, it took me months to do. I think I finally solidified that reorganizing or organizing books just is not my jam. It always stresses me out and I always think, oh, it's been so long. It'll be fun to reorganize. No. It's never fun. The end product is nice, but the process, oh, clearly I don't like it because it took me months to do. But anyway, I'm curious if y'all enjoy the organization process for your books. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Why or why not? You know, I'm just curious. Thank you so much for watching. That's pretty much all I have to say.